All right, MD says, would you say cloud is going to be taking over on-prem? If yes, what areas of cloud technologies and cybersecurity analysts should should I focus? I would say it already is. I would say I would say it already is, um, MD. Uh, the reason why I say that is because the last three organizations I've worked for, federal or not, have gone are going cloud. It's actually been going this direction for quite some time, like in the last decade, like since the, it's just been blowing up, like slowly but surely. You got companies like VMware and of course Amazon, and now Google's getting into the cloud. Like it's just cheaper to keep your equipment elsewhere. It's just it's just cheaper to to do it to have your your data stored elsewhere and pay for that rather than have it all stored right you know have all your data right there and have to have to have a a security operations center that's associated with a with a rack of servers and stuff it's just getting cheaper to have especially like the more data that we're dealing with like how many people can have you know petabytes of data and store it there physically like how many organizations can can take to pay for that rather than just have someone else a third party organization who's designed to do it a place like Google or like Amazon they're designed to do that kind of stuff so it's just this makes more sense yeah the government's doing it in fact the government has something called FedRAMP and that's all cloud computing for federal government data so then there's a whole different standard for actually doing a security compliance for cloud computing so I agree with you there. Yeah, what would I say to uh, of it taking over? Yeah, it's already it's been going in that direction. That's the direction we're going. I mean, period. So what would I recommend? It really depends on. There's really a battle, and I don't know who's winning that war. Amazon's definitely in the runnings. I would definitely know some Amazon, some AWS. I don't know where Google's going. I don't. I don't really see them in my line of work. Well, no, I take that back. So, yeah, Google, I would say the things to learn right now, it seems like Amazon and Google are kind of really trying to take over in that space. What do you guys think? Is there any other cloud computing services that you would say that are worth your time to actually learn? Another a certification to get would probably, I know people don't really talk about it a lot, but IC, ISC squared has a cloud computing let me see if I can find it they have a cloud computing they have a cloud computing uh, certification that I think is good because it's not focused on it's not it's vendor independent so ISC squared certification let me let me show you what I'm talking about so I can be a little bit more accurate here here I am on IC squared and they have a cloud computing certification that I think is the way that, excuse me, this one right here is vanilla. So it's just talking about security best practices. So this one I think is, I don't know how marketable it is just yet. Um, I know the one that's, I could tell you like the ones that are really popping off like as far as money wise, top cloud um, certifications, I know it's AWS and um, Google are some of the top ones. Yeah, see, check this out. So if these are any indication of what's going on with the market. These ones are list listed quite often, but there's one I haven't been mentioning, Microsoft certification, but there's the cloud certification I was talking about from IC Squared. I didn't even know. Yeah, I forgot CompTIA had one, but those are all cloud certifications I know these ones are these are they pay very well um, anytime I go to like top paid certs those ones top pop up pop up is like one and two but yeah here you go right here like the check this out look at this just so you can get a, a look at that that should give you some some idea of what to choose as far as cloud computing <laughs> AWS no joke it's they're they're getting a large portion it's just the way Amazon is so cutthroat and brutal like they're really doing anything they can to take this market and it's been working so yeah doesn't surprise me that they're one of the top folks out there 
Microsoft, Azure, they're trying to get a piece of the pie. And then you got Google certified. I don't know how much I've seen of their market share, like whenever I've been out there. I haven't seen any kind of federal or state people using it. AWS, I've seen them using that. But Google, I have not seen it. I personally haven't seen it, but I'm sure it's maybe it's out there. AWS developer, Google certified um, professional. Then let me see if I can find anything else that kind of jumps out at me. Yeah, this would this would be the one. <laughs> I would I'd go out. AWS probably be top of my list. That or this one, just because this one's like a vanilla one. But again, I don't know how marketable it is. It's not like a CISSP. You know what I mean? Like where it's just like money as soon as you pass the test. I don't know that this one is like that. But uh, one way you could find out is by going to Indeed. You could go to Indeed.com and if you just typed in CCSP, let's just see if it even comes up at all. CCSP, wasn't that what it's called? CCSP Cloud, yeah, CCSP. See that? See how it doesn't come up? See how there's like no jobs? But then let's see, let's, let's look for it, USA. See if we just find any job in the USA for it. Not many, not many people looking for the certification, but watch this. Watch this. This is how I check marketability right here. Put you on some game. Watch this. So let's go to the top one. They, they mentioned this one first. So I imagine that means something. But this is an architect. So that's a that's a pretty big certification. So that's probably, probably a high level cert right there. Let's look for an architect. Look at this. Immediately, look how many jobs came up. 9,000, over 9,000. The other one had like, how much was it? 100? 900. 900 jobs and none of them are mentioned in that cert by name which is concerning but AWS now granted this is a high level certification this might be like one of the top tier certifications but it's coming up look at certified cloud security professional instructor let's how about this let's let's do this let's look at cloud this is another way you can research it. Cloud engineer, cloud security, cloud computing, cloud computing. Now let's let's get cloud security. Cloud security. Yeah, look at that. So that's pretty good pay. And now what we do is look at what kind of certifications are they looking for for a cybersecurity engineer for cloud. Oh, this is cybersecurity though. So let's let's get more specific. Let's look at cloud computing. It's just straight up cloud computing. So it's all looking for my area, Colorado. So I don't I don't want it just Colorado. Let's look in USA. Two hundred thousand a year. That's gotta be wrong. Something wrong with this. Is this thing broke? <laughs> look at this. Cloud architect up to two hundred thousand. That's freaking retarded, man. AWS architect. Remote work available. Look at this. Virtualization engineer, another way of saying cloud engineer, remote available, remote work available. Look at this. Yeah, cloud computing is definitely something to look into. That is for sure. Something to look into for sure. I hope that answers your question. Navi says, I'm interested in cloud security as well. It should be a strong area to work remotely. This guy called it, man. Navi, Navi knows what's up, man. <laughs> We're just reading this. What he's saying. And he says, are AWS and ISC cloud search the way to go? It looks like, from what I'm looking at, AWS seems like a pretty solid one. But I'm just thinking to myself... What I would want to do is I would want to be in a position where I could do either one. I could do cloud. I could do. I would want to be knowledgeable so that I could come in and do an AWS or I could do a Google Cloud or I could do. I'd know the fundamentals well enough to where I can do any kind of cloud service. That's what. That's where my mind is. But that said, it looks like it looks like AWS is the leader. Is the clear leader here. If this is the salary that they're talking, and this isn't, this isn't just for architect, I saw it down here for like a regular developer, certified developer. I don't know which one is like higher as far as hierarchy or whatever, but this one was also 
may also be paying pretty good. I saw another one in here that was paying, listing the prices being over six figures, so or six figures. So I mean, yeah, it sounds like it sounds like it's AWS and and or ISC two, but that's just that's just me talking. You know, I, I'm just t- telling you based on my what I have seen and what I what I'm seeing here. I could be totally wrong. I'm not I'm not a cloud person, so I don't know.